In the barriers with the big fella is Mr. Hugh Bowman. G'day Rich. You can fit in the barriers too. Yeah. There's a few of us that had extensions, but you'll get in the one barrier. All good? Very well. Very Righty well. Where did Huey grow up? Dunny Do, Central New South Wales. Out in the bush. Yes, bush boy. Bush boy at heart. So I, I do miss it at times, but I wouldn't change what I do for anything. Isn't Dunny Do where I am, where I'm from, and where I'm going? This is where I'm from, <laughs> and this is where I'm going. How did Huey get involved in the racing industry? Well, I grew up riding horses and. My parents are very keen horse people, especially my father, and he was an amateur jockey and he was keen for me to, to introduce me to the amateur racing scene with, with some of the homebred horses that they had when I was growing up and as a teenager that's how I got into racing and that developed into wanting to be a jockey and here I am. Next question, I'm going to put a bar, I'm going to add a few words to your one. Best horse you've seen outside links? Frankel. Frankel? Yeah. Where'd you see him race? Uh, I saw him at Ascot, and I saw him. I got. Him, I saw him up close and personal when he beat. Uh, what did he beat? Um, Other horse. Good, good horse, of Richard Hannon's at at Goodwood. Good horse. Was he? Big? He wasn't big horse. He's very very well put together horse. He had a, had a great confirmation. Um, had an enormous stride, but you know, I, up close he wasn't a huge horse. No, but. Exceptional athlete. Best horse you've had anything to do with? <laughs> Definitely Winx. She's a star. Yeah, she's amazing. And outside of Winx, I'd have to say, so you think, who only rode twice, and a uh, reliable man who only rode once. And I will give a special mention to Samantha Miss. Oh, of when I think back on her, she's certainly up in that level. But I, when I was riding her, she was only a three year old filly. And, she didn't go beyond her first run as an autumn three-year-old, so I thought she would have definitely developed into a into a horse of that level. She had a big back end. She was a big strong girl. She was a big horse. She, she was she was she was feminine, but she she, she had. So did I hold on to? Yeah, no, the, she was a good horse. And she would have been she would have been cock plate material. She ran third in as a three-year-old, but. Uh, I, I would dare say she would have made a presence felt the next year. Best thing, best thing about the racing industry? Uh, look, I, I'm fortunate. I get to work with some very high quality horses. So for me personally, um, being involved with top class race horses all over the world um, it is very humbling. But the best thing in the racing game is the people. You know, and. and um, people you work with, the people you get to know, the people you, you ride for, um, everyone from the studs to the barrier attendants to the owners, trainers, my peers in the jockey's room. Uh, it's a great industry and it, it, there's so much room for so many people from all walks of life. What's, what's one thing that you think racing could do better? Uh, that's a good question. I, I, I would like to see racing you know, I, I think, I know there's a lot of pressure and I know there's reasons for everything that's done, but personally, I, I'd like to see a little bit of a break, um, you know, in the, in the off months, but I'm aware that if you have a break, then the punters will go somewhere else and we are driven by turnover. And, you know, I think racing here in Australia, especially New South Wales, is leading the way in capitalising on turnover and um, you've seen the, the results in, in increased prize money and ultimately a great product, but there's always room for improvement. If Huey, the little boy from Dunny Doo, wasn't in racing, what would he be doing? I, I, I love meat, so maybe I'd be a butcher. Butcher? But, yeah, a butcher or I dare say I'd be working on the farm. I'd be doing something with horses, I would imagine. A mate of mine, used, his grandparents, because his, his parents were gone, but he's with his grand they used to, country people, they go and buy the big sheep and the lamb from the abattoir and come home on the kitchen table and saw. Yeah. Can't, oh. Sheep people just couldn't imagine that. Well, I, I still do it. <laughs> I don't do it myself, but the boys at home still do it a bit, you know, cut the sheep up or get the chainsaw and cut through the brisket of the beast up on the. Uh, Oh, on the bucket tractor, it, yeah, it's not for everyone, but it's interesting. <laughs> From the paddock to the plate? 100%. Oh, blood and guts. What, what occupies Huey away from racing? My family. Uh, I was about to say golf. 
Yeah, I'm keen on golf. I love to get out. I try and get out once a week if I can, but it's not always the case. But uh, my family is what occupies my time. Favourite TV show? I'm not a big TV man, but I was very keen on Seinfeld. Seinfeld oh. as a younger bloke, and if I see it on, you know, I'm, I'm pretty keen to keep watching the repeats. Favourite episode? No, Favourite line? Favourite character? Oh, Kramer. He just the great man? He cracks me What up. was his best mate's name we never met? Um, I don't know. Bob. Bob. Bob Sacramento. Bob Sacramento. Never met Bob. That's why I don't watch much television. I've got a memory like a sieve. Well, well really, I'm, I'm I love so, I'm so busy doing form all the time. <laughs> Richard, I, time for television. I loved his mum's name. Babs. Yeah. Babs. They're George's mum. Elaine? Mum and dad. Oh. Right. George's mum and dad. Still, Frank? Frank. The great people? Yeah. Ben Stiller's dad, Ben's Jerry Stiller, dad, yeah. but he wasn't in the first two series. He was another bloke, remember? Yeah, okay, no. Because then he worked I'm for the... I'm not that old, Richard. Favourite holiday destination? Uh, look, I'm not much of a holiday man, I'll be honest. Um, wherever Christine's happy. Is there a particular place that Christine's happy at? <laughs> <laughs> Can't answer that either. <laughs> Who'd play Hugh Bowman in a movie? Um, that's a good question. Hugh Jackman, maybe. <laughs> he sings and dances. Can we start there? Do you do, you do either, either one of those? Oh uh, no. When you're sober. I've oh, seen I've I, seen you dance at I've, I've seen you dance at a wedding. I, I've seen myself dancing and when I'm drunk and I can't dance in either. So. Um, I don't. Yeah, we don't tell stories at school. He can sit on a horse, all right. So we'll start with him. I wouldn't imagine Tom Cruise would be much good. I've seen him on a horse, he can't sit on a horse. He can't sit on a horse. He's even short, he's that eye. He'd be playing Beedman anyway, <laughs> wouldn't he? <laughs> you put a bit of beef on. Darren or Tom? Both, both, both. Yeah, they suit each other. And they were in the church. Yeah. But I think Darren got out. No, they got. Darren wanted to keep all the oh, wages. Oh, they got similarities. <laughs> Thanks for being in the barriers of the big fella. Thanks, Rich. Been a pleasure. That's a sign for episode where you get out, you go and shake hands, and they just leave you hanging. I, did, I didn't mean to. Hugh Bowman. <laughs>